What's up, Pipers? How's it going out there in YouTube land? I'm back. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Hope everybody had a good New Year. All right, I am reviewing Hearth and Home Eggnog. Now, I got um, like three quarters of full tin from uh, Dakota Piper. Everybody check out Dakota Piper. That's two words. Capital D-A-K-O-T-A -A space. Capital P-I-P-E-R. Thanks, Mike. All right. Um, and he wanted me to do a review, and uh, Mike, I'm finally going to do this review. All right. It says, eggnog, a bite-free blend that will please anyone in the room. Let the rum, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg bring the holidays to you all year long. Sounds like ingredients in some kind of Christmas dessert, <laughs> doesn't it? Um, uh, Hearth and Home um, from PipesandCigars.com, they have uh, quite a few good um, homemade blends, I guess you could say. They, this is their own line. Um, Russ, I hope I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but Russ Ouled or We Led. It sounds French or it looks French. <laughs> Um, but he's their, like, master blender over there. Um, it says, Earth and Home Pipe Tobaccos are hand-blended from some of the finest tobaccos available and proudly made in the USA. We have a blend for almost every taste. And enjoy your comments and feedback. Uh, two blends that I've reviewed that I like from them are Classic Burley Cake and um, Anniversary Cake. All right, that's what it looks like in the tin. Hope you can see that. Got a nice kind of ribbon cut. Smells really good in the tin. Uh, Mike said this one wasn't quite his cup of tea, um, but it's not bad. Um, I'm actually gonna smoke some right now. Uh, one uh, one of my subscribers or watchers like, hey, why don't you smoke the blend? you're reviewing. I, I do sometimes. Um, sometimes I'm just trying to knock out a quick review, um, you know, hence the name. Quick pipe tobacco reviews. Um, smoking it in my, uh, you might have already seen it, my new Stanwell uh, Vario, Vario, Vario Bent Apple. I think it's a Bent Apple. It's a nice pipe. Uh, 9mm filter, of course. Absorb that excess moisture from these uh, aromatics. Is it just me? Is there something cool about uh, lighting a pipe? <laughs> Watching that tobacco glow orange in the bowl. All right, tamp it down. I like, um, real quick, I like Zippo pipe lighters a lot, but when I first pack a bowl and, you know, like maybe the tobacco is near the top of the bowl or whatever, I notice it's a little harder to light that with a Zippo, so I'll use um, a butane lighter to light the, the, to do the first light, and then once I tamp it down, then I'll use the Zippo because it seems to light better once the tobacco is down the bottom. All right, this stuff's not bad. Um, I took some notes in my assessment of this tobacco. Um, I noticed uh, with this one, um, it can cause a little tongue bite if it's smoked too fast. Um, and it can depend on what kind of pipe you're using and if you're using a filter or not. Um, and like I said, it's got a nice tin aroma. And it does have a nice aroma when it's smoked. Oh, why not? It's it's kind of light in flavor in the flavor department. It's a little light, um, but it's got a decent flavor, decent taste. Now. With my taste buds, the flavors I kind of detect um, is kind of uh, toast, 
um, slight vanilla, just ever so slight kind of a vanilla. And it says cinnamon and nutmeg in the description. I do detect something cinnamony or nutmeggy, if those are words. Um, Now on the retro hail through the nose, um, I do get a very, very light vanilla um, taste. I think I kind of detect an eggnoggy <laughs> kind of um, flavor, uh, hence, the, hence the name eggnog. Um, but it's a pretty good aromatic. It's decent. Um, it's not real heavy like some aromatics can be. Um, it burns pretty well. Excuse me, a little bit of tobacco there. Um, it burns pretty well. It doesn't really leave a lot of goop in the bottom of the pipe like some of those cheaper aromatics can. Um, so yeah, overall it's a pretty good blend. Um, uh, Mike, again, I appreciate you sending this to me so I could try it out. Um, and I'm, I, it's cool that you wanted my opinion on it. Um, I'm glad these pipe tobacco reviews, people are watching them and they like them. Um, I, I try <laughs> but hey it's all just my opinion you know people like things I like they don't like things I like um, I don't like things people like like if any of you know me I don't like Latakia I don't get the whole Latakia <laughs> flavor thing you know it's like a campfire in your pipe but um anyways um egg hearth and home eggnog it's a pretty decent blend um it's pretty good stuff uh definitely Good for the Christmas season, the holiday season. Anyways, my pipe keeps going out if I don't puff on it. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, I'll try to put out more videos. Um, I think I have some other blends to review. I'm not sure. i got to look around. See what I got. <laughs> Anyways, God bless y'all. Till next review later.